So it is day 10, and today we split off from Wes and his family. We left them at the campground that we stayed in last night. We are in uh, Lancaster on the Vermont, New Hampshire border. Uh, today we are going to be heading down a little bit south to join the Appalachian Byway and take that across into Vermont before heading north. On our way south, we came across two unexpected hikes to waterfalls, and I can't resist flowing water with the slow motion camera. Day 10 ends at Little River State Park with both of us crammed onto a tiny little campground here. So it never actually ended up raining last night so I didn't get to test out my device. So I'm gonna put that on again. We'll try it out again tonight. Day 11 we're starting at Little River State Park and it's been a damp night, a damp morning. <laughs> I hate you. Stop it, it's, move away from the vehicle, you're just spraying that directly in through the door. Move, go away. Go away. So day 11 we're starting at Little River. I hate you. <laughs> what, I just cleaned it up. It's awesome. <laughs> How long have you been stood there waiting to do that? <laughs> you guys about the grill. Yeah. You think you're so funny too, don't you? <laughs> Are you trying to be really quiet now? I think that's bothering me more than you just making noise. You're just walking in slow motion around our campsite. If I'm too loud, you get upset. If I'm too quiet, you get upset. Yes. I just want you to be normal. Is that too much to ask? So yes, it is too much to ask. Okay, cut. That night, it had rained. 
The PVC pipe helped a little, but the water still puddled in the overhang. We spent day 11 sightseeing, starting in Ben and & Jerry's and working our way south from Waterbury along the scenic Route 100. day 12 and we are beginning our journey south again back towards Kentucky uh, we're in kind of northern Vermont right now uh, and we are gonna hit the Appalachian Byway again taking some of that down through the National Forest on the south end of Vermont we're going through uh, Green Mountain National Forest what are you reading today um, Leviathan Wakes James A. Corey what's it about I don't know, I'm only on page eight. <laughs> oh, okay. The Appalachian Byway follows the Appalachian Trail as closely as possible for pretty much the entire length of the Appalachian Mountains through the US. So we're on just a very small section of it right now in Vermont, and we did a tiny section in New Hampshire as well. There are some good chunks of paved road, but there are also some fun roads that we've been on here in Vermont. If you're interested in downloading it, I believe it's available on AppalachianByway.com. That night, we headed to a campsite we'd found on iOverlander, about 20 minutes off the interstate. When we got there, we found it was already occupied. So one of the things I've been doing on this trip is collecting patches at each of the places we've gone to. So this was our very first campground at Cooper's Rock State Forest. We've got several places from when we were walking around downtown Boston. From Salem, I had to get a witch. And then one from the sites that we visited. We've got several from Maine. There's the lighthouse. There's the, uh, the mountain that we flew around. Of course I'd get a moose as well because that's where we saw the moose. Uh, and then North Main Woods. I think North Main Woods was probably the most miserable I've been on this trip. But when I look back, it was also the biggest adventure. I've never been more remote than we were in the North Main Woods. 
Uh, obviously I got a couple for Canada. We went there, Quebec. I enjoyed seeing the waterfalls and the water features at the state park in New Hampshire. And then I got a couple for Vermont. I couldn't find one that specifically said Vermont, but I went to Ben and Jerry's, ate some Ben and Jerry's, and of course Little River State Park. So this is it, our very last campground for the uh, the entire trip. We're in Stockton State Forest in New York. It is day 13, and today we're going to hit the highway home. If you've enjoyed this series and you want to see more videos like this, I have a way that you can help me out and you get a little something out of it too. So one of the things I do on these long drives is listen to audiobooks through Audible. If you use my link in the description to sign up for a free trial of Audible, you'll get a couple of free audiobooks that you can keep and uh, I get a small bonus from Audible for uh, signing up new customers.